vegetable shoes here can do almost anything. This butternut, you can see I just freshly peeled. It's fresh from the grocery store. And I can take raw butternut, haven't cooked it in. This is a big one, so you go through with a couple of cooks on there. You can see just so easy I can cut that. Now, if you've ever done this at home, you know just how hard that is to do. Now, that's a healthy chunk. If you're ever trying to do that with your own scissors at home, your own shears at home, or your own knives, I mean, you're going to be having a real tough time trying to do that. But with this, it's like dicing up a piece of cheese. Not a problem. If you want to score it a few times, if you want to dice it up, instead of having to struggle with a knife on it, you score it, and you cut right across. Now, I'm taking raw butternut. And see just how easy I can take that raw butternut and dice that up. Goes right into your soups, your salads, wherever you want that, very easily. And nothing tough about it. Like I said, it's like dicing up a piece of cheese with this. Little trip. If you cut it up here, it's a lot tougher. You cut it all the way back here, and that's just like cutting air. There's nothing pro no problem with that. You can use the cutters to cut up anything. If you want smaller pieces, you simply score it. The more you score it, the smaller those pieces are going to be. You can dice that right in your pot, your pan, your bowl, right wherever you need it. Just that simple to dice things up on it. This was invented by a German gentleman who was tired of having to clean a counter, a cutting board, and a knife when all you want to do is put veggies into a pot. So he invented a knife with a built-in cutting board. You turn around, you can take your veggies right over the pot. If you want smaller pieces in the pot, you score it right over the pot and keep on dicing it. It's just that easy. Now, it's a scissors right now. If you spread it like a wishbone, you turn that scissors into a butcher quality carving knife you can use for carving meats, cheeses, fruits, veggies, fish, bread, you name it. It'll cut it just that simple on it. You put it back together and just slide it in, make sure the blade's facing the cutting board. See a little spring, a little knobby there? When you can put the spring over the knobby, just squeeze it and it's back together just that simple. Pull it apart like a wishbone, put it back together till the spring goes over the little knobby, squeeze it, and you're back together. By the way, you never want to reach into a drawer and grab that open, so you always lock it right here. And they do come with a little uh, caddy and, and adhesive pad so you can mount it right on your cutting board, mount it right on the wall. If you mount it right near your cooking area, you're going to see it, you're going to use it much more often. Now you can pretty well use this for just about anything. You want to do American potatoes, American fries, you can cut them as thin or as thick as you want. If you want to do home fries, or if you want to do potato salad, score it. So like you did the um, Zucchini just a second ago. Dice that right in your pot and your pan. Put it right in the bowl for your potato salad. Just that simple. I can do in a matter of a few seconds what's going to take you several minutes to do with a shears. Now this will actually work even with something as soft as tomatoes. You can quarter it up here. Just make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. Just that simple. There's nothing difficult about this. In addition to you dicing up all of your vegetables very easily, you can use this with fruit. You can slice up your strawberries very nicely like this. You want to use it for like strawberry shortcake, that sort of thing. Works beautifully on it. You can take apples so you can get nice thin slices on your apples. Like that. If you want to quarter it up, you can you just get quarter, uh, quarter size chunks on it. Do it like that, dice it up if you want to put it in pie or something like that, makes it very simple. And one of the things I really like is you can even use this on your cheese. Now this is a big block of cheese on it. You see it goes right through it. You want smaller pieces on it, you want to dice this up to put into something. Again, the same thing. Score it. There it is. That simple to dice up. To slice and dice your cheese on it. Now as a little safety tip, when something gets too small to comfortably hold on to while you're slicing it, 
do like I do. Pretend like you went to chef school, grab a knife, grab a fork, stick it in that way, and you can slice it right here all the way down so you never have to worry about putting your fingers at risk. Not a problem. That works with just about anything. Anytime it's too small to hold on to, don't hold on to it. You don't want to risk yourself because this is a very sharp knife on here. That's all there is to it. Rinse it. It is dishwasher safe. This, by the way, is not just plastic. There's several different grades of these. Uh, if you hear it, you hear it quietly, that is. If that's loud, I'm going clack, clack, clack. That means it's a cheap piece of plastic. This is Lexan. This is the same material that's used on cockpits for fighter jets. So it's very scratch resistant, scra uh, uh, stain resistant. It doesn't transfer odors or smells. So I can dice up an onion, immediately dice up a strawberry, and that strawberry is not going to taste or smell like onions on it. It is 100% stainless steel. This is a good quality uh, stainless steel on here. So if you ever need to sharpen it, you can see when you take it apart, there's only a single bevel on here. So don't use your traditional sharpeners. Put it on a wet stone, tilt it on that angle, and rub it on there. But you know what? I go through about a thousand pounds of produce a month with this. I replace these tools every two to three months, not because they got dull, but just because I beat them up too much. They're too ugly to leave out on my table for display. So I always ask people a question, how long will it take you to go through two to three thousand pounds of produce? These are very easy to sharpen should you ever need to, but the odds are you will never need to sharpen this. Throw it in the, you know, you can take it apart, put it in the dishwasher, latch it up, stick it right in your drawer, and you're done. It's the best ever.